Monday, East Texas. How did you enjoy your first day of summer? Yes, today was the summer solstice. It is when the sun's rays are directly on top of the Tropic of Cancer, giving us more than 14 hours of daylight. Our sun came up this morning around 6.15 a.m. and didn't set until 8.30 at night. So now we finally have that sun that did set. Temperatures are still in the 80s, though. It has been a very humid stretch of weather, but rain-free. Now that's all changing as we go into tomorrow. So on our satellite and radar here, a few clouds down by Nacogdoches, Lufkin. Some of you may have even seen a quick shower for today. We're kind of in that warm air sector right now, but things will be shaking up as we enter into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And that's because we have our next system that will drop in a cold front on the way. And yeah, we're getting some cooler marks from this as we enter into Tuesday. You will be pleased with these temperatures that we'll have, but I can't promise it will last forever. So we do have some storms to get through. We'll time that out on future skycast, but what you need to know for tonight, we're in the clear. Everything's looking good. Overnight temperatures in the upper 70s. Tomorrow, our sun rises once again around 6.15 a.m. Winds coming in from the south, a nice flow, summer flow there, around 11 miles per hour. So between 10, 15 miles per hour, those winds, nice little summer breeze. But as I mentioned here, the dry weather is not lasting. We will have a few prefrontal showers, temperatures entering into the 90s once again for tomorrow ahead of that front and then around uh, 3 4 p.m. that's when the front will start to sink down that cold front and our air mass will change we'll have air pumping in from the south ahead of the front after this passes through then we'll have more of a northeast flow and that will give us some cooler marks for Tuesday but what you need to know is we could see some stormy weather we are expecting stormy weather to start off likely in our far western areas first around Dallas Fort Worth and into extending into our region Canton Athens Emory, I'm looking at you. Those towns could get that stormy weather ahead of our deep east Texas counties. They'll likely have it by tomorrow evening, late tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. So that cold front will kind of linger ahead of or behind that. And then as we enter into Monday night, that's when we'll start feeling that difference in the air mass. We will have cooler temperatures on the way for Tuesday. But again, we are expecting those storms ahead of all that. So late afternoon storms and into the evening as well. 92 for the daytime high ahead of that front. Winds, that says uh, southwest 8 miles per hour. But be aware, we are expecting some gusty winds with this storm system. In fact, the SPC Storm Prediction Center has a under a marginal risk, one out of five for tomorrow. That could change. We could get bumped up to a slight risk, but for now, these are the main threats. Gusty winds and also some hail, some quarter size hail likely could even get larger hail than that. Uh, right now, the flooding threat is low. Tornado threat is low, but it's not off the table. And going into our seven day forecast here, we have the storms that we're looking at for tomorrow and bam, look at that. 10 degree difference in temperatures for Tuesday. Finally, some of you probably could turn off your air and maybe just work with a fan or no fan at all. Depends your heat tolerance. Wednesday, also in the 80s. Thursday, Friday, back into the 90s. Next system returns for the weekend.